Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Karen's Math Hacks. Last week we talked about story problems for multiplying fractions. One of the ways that we do that is when we're taking a fraction and applying it to something. That's the one we covered last week. This week we're going to look at when we have a, something of fractional value that we're copying multiple times. All right, let's start with a story problem. We have a box of crackers that weighs two thirds of a pound. And we have 12 of them, 12 boxes. And we wanna know how much they weigh. How much does all of these weigh together? All right. So when you're putting together things for a uh, story problem, it's important to look at the units. Okay, so we've got pounds per box and boxes. So that means that, okay, pounds per box and 12 boxes. We can cancel out the boxes. That's what tells us that we're multiplying. Okay? Because if we were dividing, it would look like that. And we'd have units of pounds per boxes squared. And that doesn't make any sense at all. Right? So, so we're back to 12 boxes. So we can cancel out boxes, right? So now what we have is two over three times 12 over one. All right, we can simplify. We're taking a three out of the bottom. We take a three out of the top. And that gives us eight pounds. Let's look at another example. Say we have a bookshelf and it is two and a half feet long. And there are three shelves on that bookcase. And we want to know how much wood we need to build these, right? <clears throat> so we're going to multiply so that those shelves cancel. So we have two and a half times three. One thing you can do when you have a whole number and you're multiplying by a mixed number is to split it up, okay? There's a, um, a math thing that goes A times B plus C equals AB plus AC. Okay, that's well and good. Most people remember seeing that in, in their math class, but nobody's ever taught what to do with it, right? In this case, we have 3 times 2 plus a half. This 3 times 2 plus three times a half. Okay, three times two is six, plus three halves. Well, three halves is one and a half. So our answer is six plus one and a half is seven and a half. Okay? So we need seven and a half feet of wood to make three shelves that are two and a half feet each. Let's look at what's going on when we're doing these. All right, let's take a, an example. Um, if we have two fifths times three, what's going on physically? Okay, well, two fifths, Here's one, here's a hole. So 
we got two fifths, right? Times three, that means we're, we have two more. That are exactly the same, because that's what multiplying is, right? So that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six fifths. Okay, so that gives us a whole one and one fifth. Okay, mathematically, we have two over five times three over one gives us six fifths, which is one and one fifth. It's the same thing, okay? We got six pieces here, six pieces here. One and a fifth, one and a fifth. Hey, one more thing. I've now got a web page, drkarensmathhacks.com. I've got all my YouTube videos organized there so you can find what you're looking for. And my Medium articles, as well as a link for my book if you want to buy that. So if you liked this video, like, share, subscribe, and stop by my webpage.